This video will show you how to set up a GSM door interlock for the first time. Any information from this video can be found in the GSM user's manual. Before installing the GSM, please check that you have the following. A main unit, an actuator, and a power cable. The GSM is a magnetic interlock switch, which means there are two conditions that must be met for the switch to function properly. The actuator and main unit need to be installed so that their magnetic sensors and detection sensors align in close contact when the door closes. The detection sensor is how the GSM knows when the door is open or closed, and the magnetic sensor is how the GSM keeps the door locked. For the sliding door models, the detection sensors can be found where the QR code is, located beneath the magnetic surface. Next we'll discuss the wiring of the GSM series. For this video, I'll be focusing on the PNP models, which will use 24 volts DC for inputs and outputs. If you have the NPN model, refer to the manual for specific direction, but generally you just need to flip the voltage to 0 volts DC on inputs and outputs for the information to still be applicable. The GSM runs off 24 volts DC, so the brown wire will connect to the positive side of the power supply, and the blue wire will connect to the negative side of the power supply. The black wire and the white wire are the OSSD safety outputs of the GSM. The signals coming out of these wires will turn on when the conditions specified by the OSSD operation are satisfied. Each GSM has two operations the OSSD can be set to, depending on how the wiring is set up. We'll cover more on this later. The red and black striped wire and the red and white striped wire are the safety inputs of the GSM. These safety inputs need to see an on signal for the unit to function properly. If the GSM doesn't see this on signal, the indicator light will be orange. We'll touch on this more later in the video. This on signal can come from power supply if you are only using one GSM, or from the safety output wires of the previous switch connected in series. The light blue wire is a locking input of the GSM. When an on signal is sent into this wire, the door will be locked. As soon as that signal turns off, the door will unlock. The last wire to cover is the gray wire, referred to as the aux output. Its primary function is to act as a status output that lets you know when the door is opened or closed. Its second function is to act as the OSSD operation switching input. Although the gray wire has two functions, it will never do both at the same time. In other words, you can either use the gray wire to receive door status information or you can use it to switch the operation of the OSSD. Let's focus on the two OSSD operations that are available for a minute. The first is lock link, which means the door needs to be closed and locked before the OSSDs can turn on. The second is open close link, which means the door just needs to be closed before the OSSDs can turn on. We can still use the locking function in open close link but it doesn't have any influence on the OSSD's status. The GSM's default OSSD operation is lock link. To switch the OSSD operation from lock link to open close link, we just need to connect the gray wire to 24 volts DC before powering the GSM on. If you have one of the advanced type GSM units with 12 pins on the connector, please refer to the manual for the functions of the extra pins and how to wire them. Once you power on the unit, you should see lights on the GSM. In the current setup, I left the gray wire disconnected from the power supply, meaning the OSSD operation is set to lock link. Right away, the LED indicator on the GSM will be solid red when the door is open. When that door closes, the indicator will start to blink green, letting us know the door is closed and ready to be locked. Once the locking input is sent and the door locks, the indicator will become solid green, meaning our safety outputs are currently on. If I connect the gray wire to the power supply, the OSSD operation will switch to open close link. The indicator will still be red when the door is open, but as soon as I close the door, the indicator will become solid green. As I send a locking input signal to the GSM, the indicator will stay solid green because the safety outputs are on regardless of the lock status. The most common mistake I see with GSM installation is miswiring the safety inputs. If you ever see orange lights, 
flashing or solid, it means your red black striped wire and the red white striped wire are not seeing the proper on signal. This could happen because the safety input wires of the units displaying orange lights are not connected to 24 volts DC, or because any GSM units connected in series don't have their safety outputs on, or finally the safety output wires of upstream units are disconnected from the safety input wires of the unit displaying orange lights. If you ever come across flashing red lights, this is how the GSM tells you it is in an error state. The number of times the red light flashes between a longer pause will correlate to specific errors. Please refer to the chart explaining the error and troubleshooting steps found in the manual to fix the issue.